Um, the, the, the most difficult thing was I had a, two very serious relationships while the time I've been in the military. One when I was in ROTC and then one uh, when I was active duty and it put a severe strain on our relationship. Every time I went out, you know, when I ran into colleagues, it was uncomfortable. Um, I really loved this person and I couldn't explain that to my peers or they would ask me, hey, who is this? And I have to make up a story. So that aspect was very difficult. Um, also, I always felt like I couldn't, as an officer, there are situations where you're put in where you need to be disciplinary sometimes, you need to make those tough calls. Well, always in the back of my mind was, if I make a tough call and, and call somebody out, is that going to result in them trying to do a witch hunt on me, you know, and say, hey, he's gay, I'm going to... I'm going to get him for that. And so that always was in the back of my mind, and I was very fearful of that something like that. For me, it, the relief, yeah, it, on the 20th, it, it was a great day. It was a great satisfaction. I felt fulfilled within. Um, I didn't go to work and go and tell people. I didn't feel the need to. Um, just kind of more of a private person and sure. didn't feel like I needed to shout it from the rooftops. But it was a, it was a day where I felt happier than... The 19th or the 20th. Obviously, I feel more comfortable. Um, I have actually applied for a special position where before I was too afraid to apply. Um, they do a full background investigation, so obviously I would have things that would flag. Um, and they were sought after me. It was something I had to ignore. And now I actually just submitted my application and. Um, I put on there, my, it says, you know, I have to have three references, and I put this is my significant other, and she is one of my references. I've been in a relationship for six years as well, and okay. so, um, you know, what's going to happen with him, what does he want to do, you know, he understands where I'm at, but it was kind of affecting, you know, what we did, and if I was going to get out. Um, he actually proposed to me three years ago, okay. and uh, and I said, well, you're not going to get a ring until the nest until it's repealed. Um, so I started seeing the writing on the wall, um, I figured out what he wanted, and, and got a ring for him. And then uh, Tuesday night we went out to dinner, and then I, I gave him the ring at dinner. Um, so it was kind of a, it was kind of a special evening. You know, I mean, it's it's a big relief for both of us. You know, he still doesn't feel completely comfortable on base and doing that kind of stuff, um, but but it is a big relief. It was amazing with my commander because he was in my office and we were talking business, and I felt comfortable with him because he had done an excellent job with the equal opportunity issues that we had or the sexual harassment issues. He is really, really, really good. Great leadership. So I just felt comfortable. So he came into my office one day and I said, sir, I'd like to introduce you to someone. And when I did, I walked him over to my family photo that I had hidden. And, I, and it's, it's my wife, Karen, and our daughter. And I said, this is my family. And he looked at that photo. He said, chief, you got a wonderful family. Wonderful family. He said, the one thing about the Don't Ask, Don't Tell is it prevented me from getting to know you and your family. And I look forward to meeting them. And I tell you what, I just smiled. I was so proud. I'm like, this is amazing. This is leadership right here. I, I don't believe that it's, I feel like people should judge me based on my merit and my, my character. But um, I felt like, for instance, my roommates on the ship, I had to let them know because I'm not going to hide. Especially at the academy. Eventually, I only lasted about six months with my roommate before I finally told her because it just got too unbearable and too uncomfortable and I, it, it was affecting my study. I just, I need to be honest with myself and with my, my friends, especially if, you know, they tell you all these things when, when you're going through the indoctrination, like you have to lay your life on the line for this person. How, if I can't be completely honest with this person, how can I feel close to them? So.